everybody and welcome to another video here on Philly Sports Network. If you listen closely, if you look hard enough, it's Sunday for- Oh god, not again, no. Hello? Howie! Howie, how are you doing, mate? You alright? Yeah, not too bad, you know. Seeing you soon and hey, little, little catch up. Yeah, Howie should say this. Is he retired yet? Ah. Yeah, I'll let us. Alright, see you later. Yeah, right. Uh, Tavis has retired actually, so Sunday fun days gone, isn't it? Oh. Unfortunately, our Sunday fun day has been sabotaged once again. This time because Jatavis Brown at age 26 has retired from the NFL. And an article from Dave Spadaro essentially just said that he didn't love the game of football anymore. Which, you know what? Fair play to him. To understand that, to put his mental well-being first and to want to do something he loves. Fair enough. Like, I can't argue with that. If I'm honest, I didn't think he'd make the roster anyway. But undoubtedly, it puts a lot of pressure on the Eagles linebacking group. Mainly because A, the free agents available at the outside linebacker position... I mean, there aren't any. That's the that's the thing. There, there aren't really many. At all. Outside of, like, Najee Good and Corey Nelson and Joey Alfieri and guys that have been around the team a little bit, it's mainly inside backers. Players like Alec Ogletree, for instance, or Mark Barron being another. There aren't really many players who would tickle how he's pickled. Eagles, I assume, are going to rely largely on in-house talent, which in itself is worrying because the next guys up at outside linebacker, you presume to be Duke Riley, who I'm all for, great special teamer, I love him and Alex Singleton, I think both of those guys could be really nice pieces to develop in this defense, but beyond that, you're looking at two rookies in the way of Davion Taylor, who we know has limited experience in the NFL, and then Sean Bradley, who was a very, very late draft pick, so I don't really know how quickly those guys are going to get up to speed. Now, my wildcard theory here has obviously been since day one, where I've driven myself mad with analysis and trying to find out what this Eagles team is doing, that I think we're just going to see a lot more defensive backs on the field than in recent years. I think Will Parks is someone that who has played the mind linebacker position. He has sat at Mike. He's played outside. He's played Will. He's played Sam. Even your friend John, alright? He's played John. He's played everywhere. Like, he might be the most versatile piece on this defense and his skill set is so interchangeable. I think you're going to see a lot less base formation from the Eagles and we're already seeing that trend continue anyway. So it wouldn't surprise me to see maybe TG Edwards at the mic, Nate Gary one side and then arguably someone like Will Parks or Kayvon Wallace at the other linebacking spot depending who's playing nickel corner. That's where I think the Eagles are going to maximize their value of that DB room. They're going to go a lot lighter. For those that have missed the million talks on this, I think it goes back to how the LA Chargers at the time faced the Ravens in the wildcard round of the playoffs and fielded formations with literally nothing but defensive backs and a defensive line. It was very, very interesting to see how they tried to negate the fact that the Ravens were going left to right as opposed to north to south by bringing in more speed. You can see that's where the Eagles have almost borrowed that ideology from. And for that reason, I do think the players like Kayvon Wallace, uh, like Will Parks, are going to have a much bigger impact. But if they do need a linebacker, it is Sunday fun day. I'm signing myself up, alright? I mean, you can see my bio here. Howie, this one's for you. Liam Jenkins coming out of uh, Petrock College, which backwards spells Cortep, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Has never played any sport. In fact, the only tackle I ever made was on my own teammate in rugby. He was very angry about this and pushed me to the floor, and I wasn't happy about that, and uh, I may have... I've been pulled out of the game promptly after. But that isn't the point, okay? I'm six foot three. We've got a 38 inch vertical. If you don't believe us, there's video evidence on the channel. We've all been there. We've all seen it. And look, I'm not very fast, okay? So, for instance, if I was going to bite down on a play action look like Nate Gary does, I can't do it if I'm too slow to get there. 1 0. My wingspan means I can tackle Saquon Barkley from the other side of the field. So that's two of our little T-Rex arms linebackers, aka normal people. I'm a Goliath. I'm a wacky tube man. I can sort it out. And the other thing is that my voice is so high, if I'm identifying shifts or anything like that, I can shout really high pitch over the noise of the crowd and therefore keep my team in line. And I don't mean to brag, but I can solve a Rubik's Cube in 17 seconds and have never suffered an injury. So... 
that also may work in my favor. Give me a call, Howie. Let me let me know what you think. I will be doing a video uh, in the coming days on potential linebacking options for the Eagles. I think there are some potential trade ideas, maybe with a team like Detroit, maybe a team like Seattle. You can even look uh, just a little bit further afield into the AFC if you want. But I genuinely think right now the team are trying out so hard to restrict salary cap. Like Jatavis Brown was their highest paid linebacker. That's, it's not good. They only added Davion Taylor, Sean Bradley, and Jatavis Brown this offseason. Brown's now retired. I don't think they're looking to invest at the position in the same way they don't really at running back because the way they want to negate that loss, they've already got an ideology in. There is no point in investing in your weakest position if you're going to negate it by using one of your strongest. Like, pull from the assets that you do have. Don't just throw stuff into a basket and hope it works. I think that's what Howie's going to do. That's what at least I would do. I'm expecting more DBs. I'm expecting more speed, wider formations. And again, like personnel, where you've maybe got seven, eight, nine defensive backs on the field. It really would not surprise me. And maybe even using guys like Gerard Avery, who has outside linebacking experience. And let's not forget that, that yes, Avery was a misfit in Cleveland. And yet, do you know what? I think I mentioned him every video this week. Gennard, just call me, mate. All right, we can we can work it out. But while he wasn't ideally a good fit there, he's got experience at outside linebacker and has clearly been used to peel off of edge rushing and to pick up curl and flats and to pick up running backs out of the backfield. So he could also be a wild card. I think the Eagles have enough options in house to see this by, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments section below. How do you feel about the Jatavis Brown retirement? Are you upset? Who will they trade for? Who will they sign? Will it be anyone? Let me know. From myself, Liam Jenkins, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's not quite as fun as our other Sunday fun day videos. We're trying to get back to normal, but the Eagles insist on just, you know, ruining my... Oh, so we'll be back again soon, guys. We've got this week in Philadelphia sports tomorrow. I'll see you then.